All right. Well, we are out here live again at Houston Park. This is the site of the 85th annual Sun Bowl Parade. You may remember last year we had to go virtual, of course, because of the pandemic. But this year we are live. We are back. It'll be happening right here behind me. And KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis, she spoke with El Pasoans to get their thoughts about the parade's return. Well, Natasia, as you said, the parade was virtual last year, but it is returning to in-person tomorrow, and many organizations and groups are excited to show off their floats to the people of the borderland. Today was the parade before the parade, as this year's floats made their way over to the starting line in central El Paso for tomorrow's much-anticipated event. With this year's theme of Happiness Is, the excitement and happiness for the volunteers was evident. For one woman, it means honoring our furry friends who are with us during the hard times. We've been through so much in the last couple years. I thought that the pets or animals are the one thing that really kept everybody stable. For Southwest Baseball, happiness means going back to an old pastime for baseball lovers alike. Happiness is thinking back to our, our youth and trading baseball cards. So we did, uh, we covered our, our float and baseball cards. Uh, half of the cards are modern day stars and half of them are stars from, uh, from the past. With excitement building for tomorrow's event, Estine Davis, who has been a part of the parade for over 20 years, says what matters most to her is the people of El Paso and bringing a smile to everyone's faces. My role in this parade is to make people happy and to see that they are happy. And when they see these little beautiful floats and all different styles and all different colors, it makes a person happy. The parade kicks off at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and you can catch all the coverage right here on KTSM. Reporting for 9 News, I'm Tony Davis.